Assalamu alaikum ninjas, peace be upon you and welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Utopia. My name is Mohammed and this is another tutorial. Dobrodošli ljudi, bo sam čeru si tu, pozdrav da se moje Balkance, bo sam čeru se posebno. Anyway pips, today we're gonna show you a tutorial finally and thanks to a YouTube channel called the B I D I B D. Uh, thanks to that guy, whoever is he and from where from wherever he is coming from, uh, he showed me a tutorial, small tutorial, how to uh, map the uh, gamepad and Android gamepad with Android smartphone for the Dolphin emulator. For the Dolphin emulator, believe me or not, V game V games pips, not the GameCube, but V games. Later on, maybe I will try to also test the GameCube one, but V games, and we're gonna test Dragon Ball. Z Tengaichi Budokai 3 game. Yes, indeed. Uh, stay tuned for this one and I will show you exactly what you need to do and uh, how everything goes. So this uh, video will be a little bit long. Make sure to be patient, no? Uh, so yeah, this is Ipega. The link will be below this video. This tutorial should work for most of the Ipega gamepads. Uh, right now I have this one. The link will be below this video. Uh, I also have uh, the one for the larger smartphones or a tablet so you can also uh, map this one exactly. So all Ipega game pads work for this tutorial have that in mind so let's begin first what you're gonna no need to do is uh, uh, let me just show you here you're gonna go uh, to the V remote and but also follow my uh, you um, you have to follow also my, uh, my 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 nothing you don't have to follow anything and uh, basically you need to go to the V remote you need to go emulate it Remember that, but before that you will need to disable, let me just show you here, okay let's go from step by step. Uh, first you need to disable uh, the GameCube controllers, you need to disable all of them. This is gonna be uh, on emulated, the number one controller, so you need to disable it. And all these four, you need to disable them. After you do that, you go to the uh, V controllers here, like you see by yourself, three remote one, so disable all three down, but enable the number one, and you go emulate it, and uh, don't touch these buttons here, you need to extension, you need to uh, tap here and choose the classic extension, choose the classic extension, and voila, now you have the chance to uh, map your uh, Ipaga gamepad, and I will show you right now how you map it, I will just uh, change uh, uh, few few letters uh, I'm not gonna do all of them uh, so A you just put A here B you just put B and like you can see by yourself they are mapped X and Y so X well, let's do them all let's do them all and Y Z L and Z R so these ones I choose the, the click of the thumbs there let me just show you Z L so I type uh, press type it and 104 or wait a minute is that Z L Z L is that ah Z L one is this one is it no which one is Z L man Z L Z Z L is left trigger ah is this one Ah, it's this one. Okay, sorry for that, Pips. Uh, ZL, I figure, co configure them on these ones. ZL and ZR. Okay, so ZR, the down, R2, and ZL is L2. Uh, anyway, remember that you can just uh, configure by yourself, but I'll show you right now if you want to follow my setup. Regarding minus and plus, I use the tick uh, of these uh, uh, control uh, of these sticks. Let me just show you. The right will be minus. And the plus, no, uh, the, the minus will be uh, the left one, and the plus will be the right one. That's how I done it. Okay, Peps, left is this one, so you need to click it to map it home. Basically, home, you can just uh, you choose the select button here. Choose the select button. There you go. And left stick uh, up, down, left. So this thing here, uh, let me just show you. Axis one minus. Axis one minus down axis one plus left axis zero minus and right axis zero plus uh, okay so let's go to the right stick Ex exactly the same so up goes uh, up 14 okay while the while I went there okay down goes uh, minus 14 plus just a minute up 14 minus down 14 plus Okay, so it seems that they changed itself. I don't know why is that happening. 
but it should work, it should work later on fine uh, L trigger so L triggers will be these ones obviously L2 and uh, L1 sorry for that and R1 remember that you can like I said you can uh, configure it by yourself but I choose to do it like that and D-pad D-pad what you need to do is pips you need to revert them so up should be down up should be down and down should be up okay remember that remember that so up uh, choose when you want to uh, input the binding for the up choose the arrow down see and for the down choose the arrow up simple like that regarding the left also the same thing with the left and right so for the left when you want to input the binding press right and for the right press left okay so there you go we are ready now we can save it and uh, let's go now and start some game what you need to do uh, right now I will show you just in a second so you won't see any uh, like you see myself you don't see any controllers but I will show you I will just toggle them uh, choose controller okay so this one will be okay you can choose uh, choose the controller when the game starts it's gonna be on the V remote plus nunchuck I think so, so you need to choose the classic controller uh, click OK and you may have to reload the game so you need to exit pips remember that you need to exit this game and uh, open that open it again so you need to go to that settings up there to choose your controller and to choose the classic one the exactly the same gamepad the exact gamepad setup that we uh, of course set up already uh, let me just show again this is the problem with the dolphin you need to uh, sometimes open it two times the game uh, let's uh, Try it now, okay, like you see by itself, it works, but let me just show you why, how you can hide these uh, uh, toggle controls. So toggle controls, you can toggle them all, all, you go back again here, toggle controls and press toggle OK then. And that's it, you have, that's how you hide those on screen virtual keys. There you go peps, this is it, this is tutorial, thanks to the BD, uh, unfortunately I have this small problem and I'm still uh, in collaboration to him to help me regarding the tilt functions for some games because you will need a tilt uh, feature, so uh, I yet, I didn't figure it out that one, uh, these ones, uh, this setup should work for a lot of games and I will show you, make sure to follow my uh, the YouTube channel for upcoming days because I'm gonna do a lot of the gameplays for all my subscribers and newcomers who love these emulation gaming and one of the rarest who provide them for you on uh, the Snapdragon 821 CPU. Okay, let's pause it and see you in the gameplay.